That day, mother and daughter were going to school. The woman said goodbye to her eight-year-old daughter and had no idea she was seeing the girl for the last time. Little Nastya never returned home. The girl's best friend said they walked together to Nastya's home after school. Then Nastya went into her house, and since then she has disappeared without a trace. She could not run away because she had never done that, and there was no reason for it. She was a calm and good girl. The parents were desperate and immediately contacted the police. The whole city was looking for the little girl, and only two weeks later the truth was revealed. The girl's body was discovered under terrible circumstances. A local resident found a bag of flesh meat at the city dump. He decided to take this meat home to feed the dog, but at home he discovered something terrible in the package. He realized that the meat was human. The man immediately informed the police. It turned out that it was the body of the missing eight-year-old girl, Nastya. An absolute monster handled her body and skillfully cut it up with an axe. The police realized that a terrible maniac had appeared in the region. This story occurred in 2005 in Khabarovsk, in Russia's Far East. Khabarovsk territory is considered the most minor criminal area in this part of the country. People are accustomed to the fact that this city is a relatively quiet and peaceful place. Therefore, when news began to appear about the murdered and dismembered girl, locals were shocked. The city has experienced a lot in its history, but this has never happened here. For many years, the murder of eight-year-old Nastya remained unsolved. The police even suspected her own mother of murder. The woman could not come to terms with the fact that after the divorce, the child remained with her husband, which could have become a motive for murder. However, not enough evidence was found against her. For many years, citizens of Khabarovsk lived in fear. The mysterious and cruel maniac still remained uncaught. No one suspected that the killer lived among them all this time. Another mysterious disappearance in this city occurred a few years later, in 2013. 77-year-old Anastasia Mikheyeva vanished without a trace. Shortly before her disappearance, she sold her apartment in Khabarovsk to move to Moscow and live there with her daughter. After selling the apartment, she lived with her neighbor for several days. But then she suddenly disappeared. Her daughter and niece reported her missing. Before this, the woman rented a room from an elderly woman, Sofia Zhukova. The apartment owner told the police that the missing woman moved away from her, got into the car and drove off in an unknown direction. During the search, blood stains were found in her apartment. Sofia Zhukova explained this by saying the missing woman allegedly had a nosebleed. There were other oddities. After the mysterious disappearance of a woman, Sofia Zhukova began to take out a lot of garbage from the apartment. So she came under suspicion, but there was no evidence against her. Can this 70-year-old woman mercilessly kill someone and carry out the body piece by piece? It was impossible to believe, therefore another case in Khabarovsk remained unsolved. The third terrible murder in Khabarovsk occurred in 2019. This time a local janitor disappeared, 62-year-old Vasily Shlachtich. He didn't show up for work for several days. A little later, at the same landfill where parts of the body of the missing eight-year-old Nastya were once found, another human remains were discovered. There was no doubt, the same butcher was operating in the city. He cut up the body with an axe in the same way and threw away the remains in the same place. 
This time, 80-year-old Sofia Zhukova again came under suspicion. Neighbors said the man was renting a room in her apartment before the disappearance. In addition, the neighbors heard some strange sounds in her apartment, as if someone was chopping meat with something heavy like an axe. 80-year-old Sofia Zhukova denied the charges. She stated that she didn't know the murdered man at all and added that she was cutting up meat for soup at home. But this time everything pointed to her being involved in the crime. The elderly woman was detained and taken to the police. After some time she told her version of events. Allegedly, Shlachtich and his friend raped her, and she had to hack him to death with an axe for self-defense. Investigators recalled old cases, the murder of an 8-year-old girl and the disappearance of a 77-year-old local resident. Everything indicated that Sofia Zhukova was involved in these crimes. At the time of the trial in 2020, Sofia Zhukova was 81 years old. It was hard to believe an old woman could do such a thing. A female serial killer is a very rare occurrence, but an old woman maniac is even rarer. Sofia Zhukova is the oldest maniac in Russia's history, perhaps even the world. Police also discovered that the Grandma Reaper not only killed her victims with an axe, but also prepared snacks from their body parts. After the disappearance of 77-year-old Anastasia Mikheyeva, she treated her neighbors and brought them plates with suspicious jellied meat. But most people refused because they didn't like this woman. One local, identified only by her first name, Tatiana, said at the time, We always found it strange that, despite being surly and unfriendly, she would often find the time to cook things for the local children. They were always meat dishes. Sometimes she gave them to the adults. She bought me and my husband plates with jellied meat. She added, I remember it well because my husband said, let's not eat it. You never know what it was made from, and now it looks like he was right. Tatiana said police had confirmed that she used meat from the people she killed. Also, according to locals, Sofia Zhukova had an unbearable character. She often yelled at children and adults and constantly found a reason for a scandal. Neighbors also suspected that she was killing cats in the yard. However, they could not even imagine that this old woman could be an actual serial killer. But why did she kill people? Maybe she's gone crazy? It's possible. However, a medical examination showed that Sofia Zhukova was sane at the time of committing the crimes and was fully aware of her actions. Perhaps some answers to this question can be found in her biography. Sofia Zhukova was born in 1939 in the small village of Zvagino, Nizhny Novgorod region in Russia. Her childhood was during the Second World War. She lost her parents early and had no education. Until her old age, Sofia could hardly read and write. As a child, she worked in the fields, and as an adult, she got a job on a pig farm. There, she learned how to cut meat carcasses skillfully. Sofia Zhukova did hard physical labor all her life, as she could not find any other job. The woman was not beautiful and looked like a man, so people often mocked her. Nevertheless, she married and gave birth to two sons. According to friends, Sofia's husband always dreamed of a daughter, but the woman only gave birth to boys, and she also had several miscarriages. Sofia lived with her husband for almost half a century. He was the only close and beloved person in her life, and he was probably the only one who saw a woman in her, not a terrible monster. 
But in 2005, Sofia's husband died, and she was left entirely alone. The sons left their parents' home long ago and hardly visited her. The woman began to go crazy slowly and became completely angry. In the same year she committed her first murder, she brutally dealt with the eight-year-old neighbor girl, Nastya. Neighbors said that Sophia's husband adored this girl while he was alive and sometimes invited her to visit them. Sophia was very jealous and hated this girl. After the death of her husband, she accidentally saw the girl on the stairs, grabbed her, dragged her into the apartment and struck her several times with an axe. She butchered her body like a pork carcass and then threw some of the remains under the windows so that the dogs would carry them away and took the other part to a garbage dump. During interrogation she said that she killed the girl simply because she irritated her greatly with her screams and running around. Sofia Zhukova also admitted to the murder of her 77-year-old neighbor. She killed her out of personal enmity. Probably there was a quarrel between them, after which the angry granny grabbed an axe and finished off her offender. The pensioner dismembered all three of her victims into many parts, put them in bags and then threw them out in different parts of the city. To get rid of the body she had to leave the house several times, then she thoroughly cleaned the apartment. During the investigative experiment, Zhukova showed how she struck with an axe and how she dismembered the bodies. She skillfully worked with an axe and disposed of corpses like a professional killer. And the worst thing is, she never repented of her actions. Moreover, at the trial she behaved defiantly. She laughed loudly, looking into the eyes of the relatives of her victims. And she even told the mother of eight-year-old Nastya that she would gladly also kill her son. This angry grandma personified pure evil. It is not surprising that even her own sons disowned this woman. They didn't attend court hearings or visit her in custody. Even cellmates were afraid of this evil old woman. They could not sleep peacefully being in the same cell with her, and they had to sleep in turns so that the evil grandma would not kill them in their sleep. No one had any doubt she would spend the rest of her days in prison. However, she never lived to see the verdict announced. While in prison she got sick with COVID-19 and died in hospital from complications in 2020. The court dismissed the criminal case due to the death of the accused. But the court still found her guilty of triple murder. Thus ended the life of the world's oldest female serial killer, who was 81 years old. That's all for today. Remember that evil is near. Even the granny next door can turn out to be a serial maniac, and her treats can be made from human meat.